RDP or Remote Desktop Protocol and VNC or Virtual Network Computing are both ways of connecting to and controlling a computer from a remote location. So that could be the, another computer on the network or another computer somewhere else in the world as long as you've got um, everything configured correctly. So essentially they do the same thing, um, VNC and RDP, but there are slight differences between them. So I'm going to try and explain the main differences and help you decide which one is best for you and for, and for what you're trying to achieve. So I'll start with RDP. RDP is kind of a Microsoft thing. It's built into, the client is built into all versions of Windows in the form of remote desktop connection. You'll find that um, probably in the accessories menu, um, in the programs menu. And in most versions of Windows, unfortunately excluding the home editions, um, this, and the kind of server is built in to allow you to remotely control that computer from um, another computer. Microsoft also have remote desktop connection available for um, OS X or for a Mac. Um, you can download that for free from their website. It works just as well as the one that's built into Windows. So that's, that, that's kind of the convenience of remote desktop connection. It's built into Windows. If you're using Windows, it's really, really easy to connect. Um, the disadvantage of RDP is that it treats each um, connection, I suppose, as a new session. Um, what that means is you, if you have a user logged on to the machine, then you go and try and connect to it from a remote location. You'll not see that current session that's logged on to the computer. You'll, you'll be logged on again as a new person. Um, so if you're trying to check on something that the computer's doing, RDP is not the thing for you because you'll not be able to um, easily. It, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that it's possible, but using the default client and settings, it, it doesn't work that way. VNC does, however. VNC will just show you what is currently being shown on the remote monitor. Um, so if you are trying to check up on a backup, a virus scan, a file download, VNC will show you exactly what you would see if you went to the physical computer and turned the monitor on. So that's the main difference um, I find between remote desktop connection and um, VNC. VNC um, isn't built into Windows, it usually requires third-party software. It is, however, um, built into like the, the server built into OS X. So the one you choose often comes down to which operating system you use as well. Um, another limitation of RDP is that um, only a specific number of connections or users can connect to a, a particular computer at once. With Windows XP for example only one person can connect to the computer using RDP and that will log off the person that's actually physically logged on to the machine at the time. Um, if you're using something like Windows Server 2003 that will only let a couple of people connect using RDP at once. So it does have limitations in that form. VNC, it will let loads of people connect all at once, but like I said, it it all connects to the same session. If five people connected to the same computer with VNC, they'd all see the same thing. If five people manage to connect to um, a computer using RDP, they'd all have their own session. They'd all, they'd all see a different thing as though they were using five separate computers. Um, so, so you just need to decide which one you want, which one will work best for what you're trying to do. RDP is faster than VNC because of the way it works. RDP it kind of sends um, everything you see as information. So it sends the colour of things, it sends the coordinates of where things are on the screen. VNC um, is kind of... It, it does it in a different way, it just basically sends images. That's probably the simplest way I can explain that. 
so that's the difference between how they actually work so that means remote desktop is faster um, there's as far as I'm aware there's there's no argument there remote desktop is it's always been faster for me you can kind of use it as though you're physically sitting at the the computer especially if you're on the same network you, d you usually have no issues with lag and things like that so they're the main differences between the two protocols neither are 100 percent secure so if you're trying to get the the one that has is the most secure there's probably better solutions um, if I was going to choose one to be more secure I'd say remote desktop because VNC connects to the current session so that means if you're logged on as an administrator on a computer and then you connect using VNC you become an administrator on that computer RDP um, you have a lot more control over who connects and how they connect and what they can do when they connect um, the, the the amount you can configure again depends on the version of Windows you're using. But that's basically the general idea of the two methods of connecting. I've s outlined the the general ideas of the two. I'll be doing tuto tutorials on um, both methods, explaining how to connect with VNC and how to connect with remote desktop in various operating systems. But hopefully that helps you decide um, which one is best for your needs, which one is more suitable, and just giving you a general idea of the differences between them. My email address is jake at jakewright.net if you um, want to contact me for whatever reason. Um, I also have a website where you'll find these videos being recorded live. You'll also find, of course, the live chat to go with the videos my blog and lots more, you'll find all of that at jakewright.net. Thanks for watching.